Hello everyone, welcome, it's Chuck Thunder, and we are doing another episode of Gonzo Rivera's Let's Play. We've covered a lot, pretty much everything up to this point is like, just the beginning of unlocking your potential to do what you want. We've got where we want to be with our character so that we can start focusing on the skills that are best for him. Like I said, we have done charting so you can get adventure skill, we have done Oxford so you can start building your real, um, uh, extra skill boosts which I think you know, we haven't completed any yet but you know in process it's something you could do consistently as you travel uh, check research to see how we are coming along so we're getting a little bit closer and closer to getting this first major something that we're going to be doing today <clears throat> as we go along because today I want to really focus on something in which that I think most new people should probably do um, and a lot of people skip over it because it doesn't result in a lot of bonuses and like extra goods for you. But it is a good way to learn how the game works. Some of the benefits of completing this are some fame and port permits and stuff. And something to do uh, while you're out doing regular things. You could be doing this all while you're doing other things. Or you could focus it all at once. And so... Today I'm going to show you how to do your storyline for Spain. Every com every uh, country has a different storyline, but the Spanish uh, one I know a little bit about. We have completed up to Chapter 3, which was mostly just whatever we unlocked as we were doing our regular stuff up in Seville and back and forth. So, you know, you go to this tab here in the corner, uh, the one that's got the little scroll, you click Event History, and this is your main, it says main, quest line. These are the quest lines you need to follow. Later on there will be these as you unlock these storylines. Each of them have their own bonuses. The next most important one is circumnavigation so obviously we'll focus that one eventually. But for right now everyone should probably focus their main storyline and follow these chapters. If you don't know what to do with these chapters like you're reading through them and you go I don't know where to go, what to do to progress the story, there is a link to a website if you just go to Google you type in UWO event quest and then your country, you will find yours, and here's mine, event quests for Spain, and here it is broken down by chapter. There are 30 chapters in the Spanish quest line. I'm already in chapter 3, going into chapter 4. So if I click this, we will see where we need to be for chapter 4, and where we need to finish. So since we're in chapter 3, we're going to need to go to Palma, I believe, according to the page as well as here. It says, Gonzo Rivera met some young men at the Palma port who were saying they were going to be late for a deal with some pirates. Now, that's what's already happened. That's not what's changed. Um, so, uh, you know, this is kind of like what we've already done so far. Um, I don't remember getting a sombrero. They tell you these items are some things you might get. So we're going to go to Palma first, just in case. Otherwise, we're going to go to Valencia, which is right next door anyways. So that's where we're going to head off. And you're going to go through these quest lines piece by piece. Um, I guess I could show you the entire thing. It would be beneficial to show you each section because sometimes they get a little hard. There will be some battles involved that you do need to actually participate in. Um, but that's, you know, that's up to you if you want to get help with them or how you want to take on those battles. I always suggest having a uh, item that helps as always. For me, the item is the Amulet of Sun. But you could have the reserve candle too if you want. That might help too. It's up to you. Well, looks like my uh, other characters, uh, I had a bazaar set up here selling seafood pizza, is gone. So that means it's sold. Anyways, so we'll go to port, get our provisions stocked up. Not that we need money because we have an easy, sh easy sale ahead of us. <coughs> and then we're going to go to Palma. And a lot of this quest is just kind of like going between places to begin with. Um, I haven't done the Wonder Seekers quest line fully yet, but that's pretty much the same idea so far. It has been just kind of like clicking these places and going to them. So, um, this might be a good opportunity to talk to you about your aids. Obviously, we're trying to get our aids trust to 50. We aren't there yet. It's going to take a while. But once we do, we can finally give them a ship. And you want them to be in the duty category in which that 
has the skills in which you want to unlock. Most of my skills in my character are going to be under their Paymaster skill. When I was looking them up on the internet, I found that most of their skills were Paymaster skills. So while they're in Paymaster, and we're doing quest line, questing and buying and selling of goods, this is going to keep leveling up specifically. These other ones level up when you do other things in their categories. But when trading, Paymaster increases. And when that happens, you're going to unlock your aids uh, skills a little bit faster. Right now, I don't have anything. We don't have virtually no levels for them at all. But as we do this, we're going to get levels. Plus, today is also a 100% boost day on all skills. So it's one of those days where if you have items to use that do things for you, you might want to use them. I think today we may use some speed boosts. I don't know how long we're going to be playing this for, so we'll do a half an hour one. If I was focusing grinding, which I may end up doing with this character after we're done here, I may focus grinding these skills that my character is focused on, which are dye, fabric, textile, and sewing, and grind them up today. Um, probably stopping in at places to do this until I reach level doing any of this kind of work until I'm level 2 and then moving on to the next one until, or until I'm level 3 because there's nothing at level 2 so I'd probably just be plucking plucking chickens with the first one plucking chickens or ducks if I can get sheep great if I can get goats great I have no idea where to get rabbits or hemp right now I can look it up and do these because it's always good. But for right now, I'm probably gonna go get go get cheap because wool. Once I make wool, I can make things from wool here, I'm making wool and cloth from goat or sheep. It don't matter. Yeah, once I get wool, I can make wool and cloth. And I can do cotton after that. Or knitwear. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to be focusing today after we show you a couple of these event quests. The event quests are boring for the most part and time consuming. You may want to be in a faster ship, like if you're not in this one, the Palaka is pretty slow compared to the Trades Loop or the Memorial Sloop, uh, Adventure Sloop. But, you know, it's up to you what you want to use. I, I may switch over if I'm going to focus doing this quest line with this character. Um, with it soon because it does add up and take time uh, but while the 100 percent uh, weekend boost is going on I'll probably be grinding uh, the skills so I'm probably gonna want as much cargo space as possible so I can get these uh, fabric trading food or textile uh, dye trading and uh, livestock trading skills up and sewing skills up because <clears throat> that's gonna be my biggest goal well that I have the boost the boost I think goes to the 20th today is only the ninth, so I have 11 days to do as much as I can. Uh, I haven't been playing very much since Christmas, so I'm going to focus on doing that with this character while that bonus is up. And I'll do any of these quests along the lines if I can. I don't know what's at sale in these two places that would help me quest, but if anything brings me to places where there's fabrics, or not quests, level up my skills. If there's anything here for fabrics or dyes or textiles, I will definitely textiles are fibers fabrics are fabrics dyes are dyes okay yeah so that's going to be my focus what else can I show you and teach you book of wisdom I haven't explored yet we've already talked about researching and doing charting and we made it to Palma so I don't know that we're going to have any quests here we might have to go to the tavern because the thing said go to Palma, or maybe not go to Palma, because we were already in Palma, but we're going to check the um, tavern just in case. Alright, tavern. Yeah, I don't see anybody here. Nope, so probably don't need to be here. And that's fine. It's okay. Let's see what the merchant has. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, look, see this little boy? Ah, that's why. I'm thinking, what do I do? 
this is the quest line. There's more to do here. So I gotta talk to these people because they have the exclamation point over their head. Sometimes you just don't see them. You know, you're just gonna have to keep an eye out for any of these things within the town or in the bar or in the buildings that you could enter in case you can't find something. Okay, just double check, make sure there's nothing left to do with them. Anything I can buy here that would help. No, I don't have anything of those skill sets. I don't think I have spice trading now, so this is pointless. Alright, nothing to buy here. Go ahead and leave. And go to Valencia. That seems to be the next suggestion. Now, so, you wouldn't know where to go half the time. Actually, just to be safe, I'm going to check the harbor, make sure there's nothing here. Nobody here that's got exclamation points seems to be the case. Okay. We will attempt to go out to sea. Nope. Okay, so we'll go to Valencia next. And if you still aren't sure, check this tab. Check the event history tab. According to Alvaro, the eldest group of the retirement report mission of it randomly asked for scrap armor pride says take it hostage. Okay, so that's what chapter three says. Chapter three says Palma landing ball Duke of Alba was an office of Valencia government. Oh no, see? Ah, see look at this, I'm not reading everything. No matter what response, after the cutscene, head back to a town and visit the marketplace. Speak with the two young lads, Alvaro, the eldest group, or has the important mission of paying the ransom for his grandpa reprising. After speaking with them, head back to Malaga. So, I don't know if the guy said to go to Malaga, but that's where we're going to go. I don't remember exactly his words. So, Malaga is where we're going to go next. I'm going to go ahead and while I'm at it, change my custom slots here because it's kind of all, all over the place. So we'll change this one to the things you use the, for the most. One, two, three. That's the ones I use the most. Then I'll put my food that I use the most down here. I honestly don't know that I use, use the most. I'll just put that there. And this one will be... Demolition work. I don't know what skill that is. That's something I don't understand. I don't think I use many more of these other ones, but I'll put the tribute goods for brigands just in case. And then we can put the books that we want to use. At least the main book for now. I use fisherman techniques. And then you can remove some. Cool. That's really all we need right now for the sake of questing. Now that we're going to end up in Malaga next, we could do the next stage of the event quest. We'll do a couple of chapters here just to show you, you know, how to read through, make mistakes when doing this, using the other website to really follow along. The other website is probably the best help. Oh, look at that. See stuff outside at sea. I don't know how important it is that we talk to him. He went into town to resupply. Okay. Don't know that you needed to talk to him. Okay. Ship, you could speed up now. Jeez. Man, that really slowed me down. Alright, now we can get a Malaga.
400 page thesis, thesis thesis is written need more oh look Balthazar is right in front of us something happened talk about Alvaro music gets intense skip 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 you can't do the control skip for this because this is all important just you know keep on clicking these people until the picture stops showing up that's the one thing I've learned then you know you've kind of completed the section when that happens blah 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 okay now I don't know that finished the event history quest but let's read the rest forced to join the batter under his service so go back to the page uh, after talking to them, player participate in the suppressed attack. Press when you are leave for the sea, you will have another cutscene where there is initial until it comes to the pirate location, 80 leagues northeast of the North Africa shore. The battle is actually southwest of Palmer, right near the north of the African coast. So there's a battle coming up here. I don't know exactly how important or how difficult it is, but we are going to try to participate. Okay, some more stuff here. Make sure we're stocked up on cannon supplies at the very least and the rest of our food for the days and start heading just south of Palma 80 leagues southeast off the coast of northern Africa alright we're off to capture them they say come on alright Palma, so we need to go southeast of that. Pretty sure it's like literally just south of Palma. Now there isn't a map that tells you exactly, but it just they tell you here's the numbers 16, 242, 3328. That's, that's somebody who's went and gone out of their way to do it. So it's nice that they did that. It doesn't hurt to use the better battleship in this situation, which I now realize I have no cannons. So, I will have to use the Amulet of Sun if I'm going to participate. That kind of sucks. Now, if you're wondering what these lifesavers are, I think I might have mentioned them in the past on the surveying map. The lightsavers, lifesavers, lightsavers, the lifesavers are indication of a NPC character that is stuck at sea and needs help so you can help these people by doing any a mixture of things such as towing them rescuing sailors giving them food and water battling something who knows what it might be and you will get a an endorsement paper um, and when you get the endorsement papers you can use them for a number of things which you can google them and find out how to use them and maybe I'll demonstrate how to use one I've never used one myself, but it'll be learning experience to demonstrate how it's used when I finally rescue somebody. Since we're doing the event quest in this episode, if that guy's still there after this battle that I participate in, um, then we'll, we'll see. I need to get 16363, something like that. 328 Is that them out there? I mean, it's hard to tell. Seems like we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, there we go. 
anything. We'll talk to Hayridden. We're probably going to get into battle, but we're not going to win with cannons, so we'll have to use our Amulet of Sun. Sun. Hopefully that's enough now. Good. Okay, looking for Leo Eduardo did some damage with his ship. Let's head back to Palma, Eduardo says. Which is perfect, because that's kind of where I want to go anyways. Hopefully we don't get attacked by these ships while we're down here. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, we um, finished our research info here because we did some bombardment and battling um, so that has boosted us past the 500 so when we get to a major city um, we will talk to the scholar it'll automatically hand in our quest for or our research for us and allow us to start another research so we'll see where this brings us after Palma before we head into Palma though I'm going to see what this person wants to be rescued with because it seems to be just north of Palma that this little rescue symbol is. Hopefully it's not like, you know, give them something I don't have, because that can happen sometimes. Like they say, rescue their sailors, and you don't have the rescue skill, or you don't have lifesavers to give them. I can see the ship from now, from all the way out here already. It's a little tiny dot out there. They really allow that to populate far out, so that we know where it is. Getting there, I mean, we're getting up there in levels. Once you get past 21, like all three levels, you know, also that's another thing that opens up. It allows you to use all three different ships the battleship, the memorial trade ship, or the trade ship, and the adventure ship, which is what we're really trying to get to is the adventure ship because the Sambuk is a good, good ship all around for all sorts of things. All right, let's see. Is he getting attacked? Is he leaking? Looks like he's leaking. Drop your anchor. Oh no, I can't drop my anchor. I don't know how to drop my anchor. There we go. It's like I forgot how to drop my anchor. But drop your anchor because you got to be a complete stop in order to, to help these people. Oh, I did it again. She's having a load collapse. Oops, there it was. Search for their cargo. Use your recognition skill or collection to to this cargo, which is washed away. So we have a recognition skill, so we'll go ahead and remove caution here. And use recognition. Didn't find anything, try again. A little distance away. Do it again. I don't think you see anything. But you just keep trying it. Just keep on using it. I don't 
honestly don't know. You just kind of like have to search the area until you find it. Oh, we found it. There you go. Deliver it back to her ship, which again, you probably will need to stop again. You can see how this gets a little annoying. I don't do these every time I see them. Drop my anchor. And we tamed our letter of appreciation from the seafarers. So there you go. And now, when you click on use and you want to use it, you get a couple of things you could do. You need to have a total of two in order to do something with... Oh, no, I see. Yeah. In order to get a large fleet of reinforcements, you need two. To receive an endorsement, you get one. To receive an auto navigation map, you need three. I like to do the receive an endorsement one, and that's the one I'm going to show. But in order to do so, like, once you use it, you have, like, so often, like only like maybe like I think like 30 minutes to find somebody, um, to find a guy uh, that is one of those named NPC ships, and then they will give you a job type. And there's there's a list that we'll have to go over at some point when I finally show you how to use it. Anyway, so we go to Palma now. They want to have this conversation now. Gonna finish that up. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if we need to go anywhere. So, I always like to pop in the town just to make sure that nobody's waiting in town anywhere. Yep, here they are. You don't have to read the event history. Look at that, there's the sombrero we were talking about. So we finished chapter three. I don't know why you would just give me a hat, but sure. So this is why I said it's okay to do these event quests because you do get stuff from them. Nothing crazy. Now he says, go to the governor's office in Valencia to form the Duke of Alba, the prisoner we have. So there you go. Let's see, what does this item look like? Sombrero, just gives me four formality and four defense. And it looks terrible. It's really not necessary to keep. You could sell it, whatever you feel like. And so, we technically finished chapter three. But... You know, just to see us transition to a new chapter, we'll go to chapter four. We're going to Valencia, like he said. So yeah, you would use this um, letter of appreciation to get the endorsement. And I'll show you that search. So now I'll type in endorsements into, into Google. Job endorsements from NPCs at sea. So, the easiest the way to do this is uh, you would use it. You go to these regions, look in the sea region, find the person's name, talk to them, and you'd get this reward. So, let's say you were doing this. You were in Eastern Asia. Let's go. Let's go to some place close by. If you're in Eastern, Western Europe, okay. So you're in Western Europe, and you're in open sea Lisbon right and you found this guy you get an adventurer's guild card if you find Gaspal and after using the card he'll give you an adventurer's uh, guild card required to apply to beginners adventure shops and there you go and that's how you'd get that you could also get specific jobs though like here's unknown lands so exploration permit I have no idea what that means but that's one way to get some sort of permit Maritime Guild Cards, Adventures Guild Card. Um, there are certain people that offer specific jobs. Promotion endorsement. Let's see. Maritime Jade Card to a Naval Officer, so you can get the job Naval Officer. And so that's why you'd use them. If you're looking for a particular job, that might be a way you get Naval Officer. Which, if you're curious what a Naval Officer is, you click it and then it'll show you what the skills are. You get expers, expertise towards gunnery, gunfire, which is, if you're somebody who's specific to that, then sure. If you need these things to be um, favored, then that's great. I like, these are actually my favorite skills to use. So, I might get naval officer. I don't care so much about gunfire. I've never used gunfire, but it doesn't hurt. 
So that's how you get more specialized jobs. There are other specialized jobs you can get if you uh, do different quests um, that are quest lines too, like the steam engineer's job, which I could show that at some point too, if and when we ever get around to that, because that is a good management grinding skill um, uh, job. All right, so we already transitioned to the next quest line, it seems. We're going to go to the government office here because that's who we need to speak to. I'm just going to quickly navigate there faster by going to the port first. Okay, where is Alba? the office please leave if you don't have any official business and then there I go and he should come out hmm. happy new year I've never gotten that before whatever I don't know why I'm investing I'm just just trying to see hey what did he yell at me for though he said Duke is currently out inspecting his lands. Please come back another day to give your report. I don't know what that means. Well, if you don't know what that means, go back to the event quests. We're in Chapter 4. He said, go to Valencia. Apollo and the Mercy Fleet was a position. Talk to Elder Juan at the ah, marketplace. There you go. So, that's what I mean. Like, it just doesn't seem straightforward. It just never is as straightforward as you hoped it would be. So we gotta go to the marketplace. And if I was reading things when those go guys were talking to me, it would be a little more obvious. Maybe. But if not, you can always check the website. And continue the quest line. And you can see how this can get annoying. When there's 30 chapters, you don't have to do all of these all at once. strange okay that seemed to be the end of that now we go back to event history hover up petition to be taken to Palma so now we gotta go to Palma yep it's just that simple guys you're just gonna have to like follow oh look at that fibers I could buy a lot of fibers There we go. Boost my textile trading skill. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell this for profit anywhere, but it doesn't hurt to do so. Like, uh, constantly buying things like that will just keep on increasing your skill, and you'll be able to buy more as you do it. So that's why I did that. But hopefully this video was informative on how to do these these event quests. I mean, I kind of showed you a little bit of how it's done when we first started because it was just interrupting our story. But you're going to continue to follow these quests chapter by chapter. There's going to be battles involved. There's going to be certain people to talk to. Certain things you must do first before you go hand. Or certain uh, tr uh, fame levels you need to be beforehand. Um, it's, it's one of those things in which that is not as self-explanatory as it might seem. And you're doing it. And the event quests don't tell you. So it never hurts to have this tab open and go back and forth reading what you need to do. Because... It's not going to be obvious in some cases. In this case, most things have been explained to me here, but you saw that I needed to refer back every once in a while just to make sure I was heading in the right direction, make sure that I was following um, the right people to talk to. I mean, if I hadn't talked to the, the city official, I would never have known that the Duke wasn't there and to look at the event uh, page to know what to do. So it's like, you just got to like guess and check sometimes. And if you do get stuck, ask in world chat. Someone might be able to help you. Maybe they'll look it up on the on their website and find the answer, or maybe they'll they'll be uh, somebody who's done it already um, and knows the answer. So, hopefully, this was informative. If you really liked it, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. That way, you have the most uh, up to date 
link to the Spanish event quest. Um, but you could also find any of the quests on that link. So thanks again for watching, everyone, and have a great day.